St. Joseph, the first capital of Trinidad, is home to the oldest Roman Catholic parish in the island, and the church has been designated a National Heritage Site by the National Trust of Trinidad and Tobago. The Roman Catholic Archdiocese has embarked on restoration project of the church, which is estimated to cost some $4 million. The fundraiser was launched on Wednesday at the church. Karen Kozia Philip tells us more. The old cathedral in St. Joseph, constructed over 200 years ago, is the first Catholic church built in the first capital of Trinidad and became the first prototype for Catholic churches throughout Trinidad and Tobago. Roman Catholic Archbishop Jason Gordon explains the church was built at a time when bishops could not speak to any authorities in London because the Catholic church was under repeal. That here in Trinidad and Tobago, the, the British governor lays a foundation stone for a Catholic church is a piece of history that is worthy of note. It was only much later in 1848 or so that the British hierarchy of the Catholic church spoke to the British government with any ease at all after the, the ban on Catholicism was repealed. But the history of the St. Joseph Church goes back even further as it's said to be the resting place of the remains of three Capuchin friars who were killed in the Arena Massacre by Amerindians working on the mission at San Rafael. The churchyard cemetery is also one of the oldest and reflects several waves of inward migration. There lay the remains of several prominent families, such as Fafa, Pedro, Hernandez, Naked and Dupre. Most of the tombstones, however, bear English trans inscriptions in keeping with the evolution of Trinidad's history. Buried here in one of the simpler graves is Father MacDonnell. Interred here as well in the Dupre family enclosure is Cyril Dupre, founder of the Colonial Life Insurance Company, Clico, and the Colonial Fire Insurance Company, called Fire. A recent audit of the church has highlighted certain major faults in the structural integrity of the roof and walls. Engineers have warned if restoration work is not undertaken immediately, the building may be completely lost. Archbishop Gordon says to keep the shrine alive and in good condition is vital for the collective memory of Trinidad and Tobago. And we have to be honorable to those who have laid these foundation stones and built this edifice. We have to be honorable to them in keeping and ensuring this edifice remains in pristine condition for the next 200 years. That 200 years from now, they can celebrate this church reaching its 400th anniversary. The Road to Restoration project is estimated to cost $4 million. Karen Kozia-Philip, C News.